coming off a dominant performance against Northwestern, the Redbirds just made all the wrong moves and couldn't push their way past an in-state foe. A sold-out crowd at Hancock Stadium for Family Weekend saw an ISU team different from the previous weeks, making too many mental and physical errors that ultimately cost them the game against the Eastern Illinois Panthers. Yeah, I don't think, you know, think we protected all that great. Uh, too many negative yards to play. Just, just found a way to lose again. EIU made sure to gain off of all of ISU's mistakes, forcing and recovering a fumble early off of running back Jamal Towns, and then maintaining a 10-0 lead heading into half after a missed field goal attempt by Slattery and an interception by quarterback Jake Colby. Yeah, great players that made plays today. They made more plays than we did. That's how you win games. And they are very talented. ISU's defense was also not making their typical well-executed stops, and a couple blown coverages and multiple penalties really helped the IU get ahead of the game and into the end zone. Because of who it is and the trophy and all that stuff, so um, this is definitely my biggest win so far at Eastern. The Birds are known for being a second-half team, and despite picking up obvious momentum with touchdowns by Colby, Gibbs, and Schnell, the game came down to an onside kick recovered by the Panthers, who win 24 to 21. There's a lot of blame to me. Toss around, including me. So we're going back to work tomorrow and uh, watch the tape, get better, and uh, get ready for the game and move on. The Birds will travel to Terre Haute this Saturday to take on their first conference team, Indiana State, at 2 p.m. For TV10, I'm Ali Christiani.